A recent report released by the American School for the Deaf in West Hartford has shed light on some very disturbing allegations involving former faculty and alumni who allegedly sexually abused students since the 60s. Fox 61's Carmen Chow dug into the report and brings us the details. The school got word of these allegations since February 2019, hiring private legal counsel to look further into it. After interviewing 81 alumni, former faculty, staff and other witnesses, the school has ensured the individuals involved are no longer connected to the campus. The executive director and president posted the lengthy report on the school website. Findings revealed up to seven former faculty members allegedly participated in the abuse. Some of the students would have been only 12 years old or younger at the time. The abuse often took place in the dorms and at the camp. Witnesses described the abuse to police, saying students were, quote, forced to kneel on broomsticks, kneeling for extended periods of time, being forced to walk on their knees and being slapped and punched. The school went on to apologize to the students who had to suffer this abuse. But to move forward, they are implementing a strict guideline in hiring workers, such as conducting a strict criminal background check. All workers are now required to undergo reporting training should an employee suspect child abuse on campus. Over 200 cameras have also been installed throughout the school and through new software, reports can be submitted anonymously through the school website. Reporting in West Hartford, Carmen Chow, Fox 61 News.